Hi everyone, it's Ari Martinsen here. I am in Romsdal in Norway and it's a beautiful uh, evening here and uh, I'm going to take some special pictures tonight and uh, I'm using my Canon EOS 5D camera, my Canon 24 to 70 mm zoom and my cable release, my tripod, Gitsu tripod, really right stuff ball head and uh, I have a Singray color combo polarizing filter here in front of the lens and that will uh, add some colors and better contrast and I can also remove reflexes from water. And in addition I'm going to show, teach you how to use a Randall J. Hodges V filter from Singray. This is a very special filter. It has a the graduation has a V shape. And uh, let's take a look at that filter right now. And here is the Randall J. Hodges Mountain V1 filter from Singray. It's a three stop graduation, and you can see here is the clear glass, and we have the V shape. It's perfect for V shaped valleys and for rolling hills. So they have two filters the V1 and the V2. And, uh, the V1 is good for V-shaped valleys and rolling hills that are not so steep. And they have the V2 filter that is better for steeper valleys and mountains. So this is very useful in situations with the high contrast between uh, the mountain, the sky and the darker foreground. So it fills in perfectly in the valley. I rotate the polarizing filter to get full effect of the filter. Then I get uh, better contrast, better color. And I can also remove reflexes in water and on other blank surfaces. Here's another thing we can do with the polarizing filter. We can rotate it and remove the reflexes on the water surfaces or on other blank surfaces. See here? Now the reflexes are gone. I rotate furthermore. So now it's no reflexes and they're coming back here. Then I rotate it back. First I compose, then I rotate the polarizing filter to get it in the right position and then I ha I'm hand holding the V filter and I need to position it correctly according to the landscape to so fill in the V shaped landscape. It's a mismatch between the foreground and the sky. The sky is too bright and the foreground too dark. And I want to balance that with a V filter. And here it comes. It's coming into the lens, filling in the V valley. It, it's V shape. Take it, leave it down. And there we have it. Now it's a little bit more cloudy, but we can try, take another one. It's a different composition. Here we balance the light between the foreground and the sky with a V filter. It has been a beautiful evening here in Romsdal in Norway. So let's go in and take a look at the pictures on the computer and I'll see you inside. Now let's take a look at the pictures in Adobe Lightroom. This is uh, the first image and uh, let's start with the settings. I used ISO 200. I zoomed in my 24 to 70 millimeter lens into 28 millimeter. I used aperture f16. 
and that gave me depth of field from the foreground here and to the far background and the shutter speed was 0 0.6 seconds and I worked in aperture priority mode on my camera and uh, this is uh, the first image and I used the V filter here a dark in the area above here in this V-shaped valley and that when I did that uh, I balanced the light between the foreground and the more brighter sky here in the far background. Let's compare two images, one with the filter and one without the filter. See these two. Go to XY here. You can see them a little bit larger. And you can see here, this is the one with the filter, and this is the one without. So it's a big difference. I have burn out highlights here, no details, but in this I have a good balance between the sky, the mountain and the foreground. And let's go to this second image, a different foreground, a different light, the sun is down and uh, some more clouds and different colors up here. And I did the same thing here, I balanced the light with a V filter and the result was good. Let's compare the one with the filter with the one without. Here it is. So this filter is very useful. So you can buy them from singray.com in the United States. And uh, Good. The good thing about Singray, they have worked with top uh, landscape photographers over many years and they, together with them they have developed different uh, filters for different use. And uh, go to their website singray.com and uh, you will uh, learn a lot by reading on the website and also find the filters you want to use. And... Uh, Thank you for uh, watching and uh, please share, like and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and then you will be alerted when uh, I post new videos because over the next weeks, months and years I will produce a lot of new outdoor photography training videos. And don't sit at home and wait for inspiration because inspiration will come to you out in the field. Work hard in field and select harder in the selection process on your computer. So stop watching YouTube now, go out in the field and uh, I'll see you soon in another video.